chicken tractor building day. Although, it's supposed to rain all week. So let's see how much we can get done in the rain. A few weeks ago, I had already purchased most of the materials for this chicken tractor. I did not come up with these with this plan as far as this chicken tractor. I ended up getting it from John Siskovich from Farm Marketing Solutions. I will put a link down to those plans down in the show notes if you'd like to purchase it or check it out. I highly recommend this chicken tractor. I mean, we haven't had a problem with it. We've been using it for over a year. So I'm building another one for this year's meat birds. The different joint that this chicken tractor uses is called a lap joint between screws and a lap joint to make it more secure and hopefully just last a little longer than just screwing it in. So a lap joint, you don't go all the way through the wood. So basically, you're looking to take a chunk out of the wood right here. Safety first. So the idea is you want to cut about halfway down from the 2x4 and then just take out this chunk here. Now I'm going to cut another piece and it's just going to lay right in there. So that right there, that's the lap joint. So the idea is it makes it a little bit more sturdier. Of course you glue, you glue it and screw it.
did some really the, the majority of it is you know cutting all the pieces doing those lap joints and once you got all the pieces cut do all your joints and then put everything together so this is the more tedious part of putting this chicken tractor together but I need to get more material and our little baby chicks over there they went through this 50 pound bag of feed in two weeks we need more feed like now so I need to stop what I'm doing go get feed go get some more material and come back at it. 